I'm going to check the uh, ammonia level. I uh, dropped uh, 12, 20 drops of my urine into the BioCube just to see how long it will take to cycle my tank. As you can see, the water is cloudy. So let's see what the uh, ammonia level is today. Side note, I bought these worms thinking my fish would eat them and they, uh, they didn't. Something's happening over here. And now we're going to eat drops of solution number two. Eight. I keep my uh, test kit in a little refrigerator. I want it to last for a while. There's a reaction now you can see that it's turning green. I say that we're roughly about two ppm. I'm not gonna put any more urine in there for now. So something I've been using to cycle my tanks is that uh, natural doctor drain natural septic treatment, which um, is a uh, exactly what it says, a, a natural septic treatment. If you read it, it says, uh, helps prevent septic backup, eliminates septic odors, digests protein, oil, grease, and paper. The back of the label states, uh, use natural doctor drain septic treatment monthly to prevent and to help counter the effects that household chemicals, oils, grease, paper, and other items have on your septic system. It is the only concentrated, naturally safe solution that helps prevent backup, controls odors, and balances your septic system with the most bacteria available per treatment. Eight ounce concentrate treats 1,500 gallon septic tanks or cesspools. And uh, it contains up to 10 times more natural bacteria than rid x now let's compare stress zyme stress zyme plus keeps aquarium clean as consumes sludge in the gravel bed boosts biological filter contains millions of live bacteria to destroy sludge in the gravel bed and keep glass and plants clean helps boost the natural aquarium cycle. Now I don't know about you, but uh, the stress zyme and the natural septic treatment seem to do something very similar to each other, except the stress zyme is extremely expensive and the natural septic treatment cost me I think three fifty to four dollars with tax at uh, Walmart. The natural septic treatment has enough to treat 1,500 gallons. If you know your math from dealing in ounces and grams and eighths and quarters, an ounce contains about 28 to 29 grams of product. So the septic treatment has um, eight ounces, eight ounces multiplied by 28 grams There's 224 grams minimum in this packaging, okay? Now, the 224 grams treats 1,500 gallons. That means that each gallon requires uh, 0.14933 grams of product. If you remember from my assumption on this tank, I'm going off of a 10 gallon tank just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to multiply this by 10 gallons. 
which means that if you use a weight, uh, which means that if you use a scale to weigh out the product, I would I would weigh roughly one and a half grams. Now, as you recall, I used urine in my tank. So it would be fitting to use natural septic treatment. And it works. I haven't had any uh, losses. It's helped with the uh, cycling of my tanks. It's helped with the sludge in my uh, canister filter. It works, uh, surprisingly. You can see it's, it's green. Clearly there's ammonia in there. You can see that it's uh, definitely above 1 ppm. So the test right now is to see how long it's going to take to have the uh, tank get rid of this ammonia that my urine clearly produced. I'm gonna use very little of this uh, natural septic treatment. I don't have any fish in my tank. I'm going to drop this powder directly onto my filter sponge. In fact, I'm going to drop it on to the sludgy one that I pulled out of my uh, cycle tank yesterday. As you can see, I'm dropping it right there. But you can already see it's uh, spinning around. I'm going to pop that in there. Now it's going into the aquarium and going to get mixed around. I'm also going to take this time to drop the stress zyme in since it contains live bacteria. So what I'll do is drop this in. The next video I'll show you how I go about mixing the natural septic treatment to use in an aquarium. But I think that's a pretty uh, good start to my cycle. So let's open up this uh, stress zyme. So I want all this product to go in. And there it is, but we know that there's more in the bag. So I'm gonna keep dipping it in. So at this point I've provided uh, three different kinds of uh, bacteria into the tank, the natural septic tank treatment. Um, you notice the stress zyme, live bacteria, and the stability. And here's my official reading for ammonia level. You can see that this would not, while it's uh, dangerous because it's at 2 to 4 ppm, you can still see that um, this looks very similar to what fish would be doing if I was doing a fish in cycle. This is a fishless cycle, so I can afford to experiment to kind of show you um, that things that might sound a little bit gross might actually speed up the process. You can see that the plants, they look better than they did yesterday. What I'm thinking is that I might have to move the bio balls from the bottom and fill that bottom portion with polyfill and then make a cubby in the middle for some biomedia and then top off the biomedia with more polyfill because the uh, biocube is definitely not uh, obtaining its water just from the top of the cube. It's uh, pulling water and seeping. Uh, I guess that's the best word. The biocube is seeping water from chamber from the bottom of chamber one uh, into chamber two. So you can see that they're all. Uh, I mean, they're basically uh, even. 
I guess the uh, third chamber is lower than the first or the second chamber. I guess that's an accurate statement. Uh, water from the bottom where I put my bio cubes is not being um, pulled through any media. And I guess that's where my issue is. Any uh, dirt or grime or poop is going directly into my bio media, which is just going to get it dirty. There's no uh, sponge. There's no, uh, there's no type of filtration other than just biological filtration at the bottom. And that's exactly where it's being pulled from. And I think a majority of the water is seeping out through there. All right, stay tuned. My next update will show my new ammonia readings and uh, how the plants are doing and how they're growing with the, uh, uh, with the urine that I poured in there, well, that I dropped in there. All right, see you next time. Peace.